Okay, so now that we have nuked the agarose gel in the buffer, it's nice and clear. Notice there are no floaties, okay? It's hot and ready to be poured. I microwaved it with this towel in the neck to make sure it didn't boil over, okay? So now we have our gel mold. We're going to take this off, and we're going to pour it just about to the top, okay? Just like this. Right. Now, once I have poured and notice that the tape is keeping the gel, hot gel, from leaking out, you're going to get your comb, and this is what's going to create the holes in the gel, okay, into which you're going to load the dye. So the where I want you to place the comb is pick there are two cent there, there are two notches at either end, and there are two notches in the center. Pick any one of the two center notches and just place it in. And it should sit right on the top like that. And when that cools, you'll have a gel ready to use. Okay, so when your gel has hardened, it will look like this, okay? It's fairly translucent. I can still see through it, but you can tell it's, it's become a little cloudy. Here's the comb. Now very, very gently, I'm going to remove the comb from the gel, again, very, very, very gently. If you yank it out, what's going to happen is you'll tear the holes. And you can see there we have the holes in the gel. So these are the wells you're going to use. All right. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead, and this is the chamber you're going to load the gel into. I'm going to place the chamber down on the table. Red is for positive, black is for negative. Okay. I'm going to carefully untape the gel, being very, very gentle so that I don't end up ruining anything that I've spent a long time setting up. All right, good. Okay, remove all these pieces of tape. All right, set that down. There we go. This may seem tedious, but by taping it up very good, very well, you made sure that it didn't leak out all over the place, which is important. Okay, so here we go. All the tape has been removed, and here's your gel. Now, you don't have to take the gel out of the container. You simply place the container like so. Okay? Once the container has been set, you're going to take your... TAE buffer, and you're going to fill it until it just covers the top of the gel. So I'm going to pour some in this side, and it'll start flowing over to the other side. I'm going to pour into the other side till it equals out, and make sure that it just covers the top of the gel. And now you have your chamber set up and ready to go.